tides, wind, weather events, and runoff from rivers and streams create a mosaic of naturally cycling conditions in Casco Bay. On top of this complexity, we find an increasing array of changing conditions because of human activity. At Friends of Casco Bay, we work with our community to protect the environmental health of the bay. And it is a great challenge to distinguish between what is normal and natural from the impacts of local human influences and global climate change. We're asking how is climate change impacting the bay? Is the bay getting warmer? Are our waters acidifying? To address questions such as these, with statistical credibility, we needed more data. Enter staff scientist Mike Doan. Mike has become the state of Maine's expert on the data sonde, an electronic oceanographic instrument that is at the core of our monitoring efforts here at Friends of Casco Bay. People from state agencies and other nonprofits depend on Mike to train them to use and calibrate this equipment. Mike designed our first continuous monitoring station by pairing a data sonde with a carbon dioxide sensor. In 2016, we launched our first cage of science off Yarmouth, Maine, near the coastal center of the bay. Since then, we've collected data every hour of every day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. But Casco Bay is wide and varied. In eastern Casco Bay, near Phippsburg and Harpswell, water quality can be heavily influenced by the outflow of the Kennebec River. To the west, Portland Harbor, with its international shipping channel and large urban population, presents a different host of challenges to the health of the bay. We needed more than just one continuous monitoring station. In 2019, we launched the Climate Change and Casco Bay Fund, setting a goal to raise $1.5 million to launch two additional monitoring stations, maintain all three stations for a decade, and communicate changing conditions to our community. 700 Friends of the Bay have contributed to the fund. Many more continue to support our broader operations, together providing the capital and support required for all of our work to thrive. Thanks to all of our friends, we have now launched our second station. On March 31st, Mike deployed a new cage of science off Harpswell in Cundy's Harbor. The launch of our Portland Harbor station is imminent. It will make a splash in the coming weeks. While we have crossed the finish line, raising funds for the campaign, now the real marathon begins as we track data hour by hour and protect the health of the Bay for generations to come. We will put these data to use, helping communities around the Bay see how conditions are changing. Then we can explore together how to best address and adapt to the impacts of climate change. We are thankful this journey includes friends like you. Thank you. It's official, we've got two stations up and running.